Hey guys, welcome back to the Land Co vlog. I'm at the Land Co farm and I was out here this past weekend with my family and we started a new project that I thought you guys would think is kind of cool, uh, kind of unique, so I thought I'd take you along with me on that. The excavator? Yeah. Okay. I am standing in the wetland that we built last year. Um, we've got a few things to wrap up here. Most notably this uh, goose blind, goose pit behind me. Goose pit, look, talk to Andrea, over there. Um, we're also gonna remove some trees on both sides to open it up a little bit. But the primary project um, that I'd like to show you guys is just east of here, we have a lake called the Lily Pad Lake. And what we'd like to accomplish is to create sort of a hybrid lake um, that's used for fishing in the spring and waterfowl hunting in the fall. You know, you could probably, this concept would probably work with any lake, but I think it works exceptionally well in this lake because a lot of it is, or at least appears to be shallow. If you look at the lake, it's about a 12 acre lake or so with a little um, area beneath it that floods, it's a few acres. So we're looking at, you know, maybe 12, 14 acres at most. It looks to me like about half of that is, you know, six foot or under. Um, we're hoping most of that is four foot or under, but uh, the goal here is to drain that lake uh, you know, four or five feet or whatever you need to drain it and expose all of those flats. In this situation, it's mostly lily pads, so we have a tough time fishing it past June anyways. So worst case scenario, we'll drain it, kind of take care of some of those lily pads. But what we hope to accomplish is, is we drain that lake, expose, you know, four or five acres of that shallow stuff, uh, let it dry, come back in and, you know, clean it up, disc it so we're able to plant that. So in the spring, um, we could put a control box at the tail end of the lake, close it, come, you know, late September, early October, and let that water slowly rise up through the kind of duration of the waterfowl season, season kind of exposing new seed throughout the year. So that's the goal. Uh, kind of a cool concept that I haven't seen, um, but kind of keep the lake full through, you know, probably June or so, so you can fish it in the spring lower it in July, plant your millet, buckwheat, whatever um, you want to plant, and then fall kind of slowly raise it up. So that's the goal. Um, we're going to see how it works. It's kind of a new experiment for us. So uh, we'll take you guys along with us and kind of let you know how it goes. The goose don't like it because it's too tight and then it doesn't freeze on. Okay, so this might actually work as we had planned. So we've been draining this lake for like a week, okay? It's down maybe three, three and a half feet. So we maybe have six inches to go, but it's pretty close to what we wanted. Uh, I mean, we're probably, I don't know if you can see this on the, sh on the um, screen here, but we have probably exposed like half of the lake or so. Uh, in addition to that little, um, you know, the wood duck area as we call it, just below this lake to the south. and. It's still a little wet out here, so I would kind of hope that we'd be able to get in here by now within a week. And these lily pads are just like hanging on for dear life. Like I thought they'd be, start to die right away and they're like thriving. So we're gonna have to come back in here with a bobcat or spram or we'll figure that out. But I'm gonna try to let it dry for another like couple weeks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. We'll do another one um, for the second stage of this, which again, we'll be uh, just getting, killing all this stuff, smoothing out the the kind of the base a little bit and then working it so we can plant some millet and buckwheat. Um, we have, we're sitting here at like end of July, drop dead date to plant buckwheat is like mid-August. So 
I'm going to take advantage of that and wait a couple weeks before we get out here to let it dry as much as we can. But in general, I think it's going to work. So um, I'm looking forward to like getting out here and getting rid of all these uh, lily pads, disking it up or tilling it up and get a better idea of kind of what we got because right now it's just it's hard to envision all this because all it is is just super thick lily pads everywhere. But hybrid lake, the goal is to keep it full through June or so, mid-June, so you can fish. Um, because we didn't kill the fish. You know, the, the lake's 20 foot deep or so in the middle. So when we drained it, we just kind of forced them to the middle. Um, so they're still there, still fine. Um, so when we fill it back up, the fish will spread back out. We'll be able to fish it through June or so. And it'll be easy to fish because we won't have to contend with this stuff. And then, um, again, we'll, we'll plant it. We'll lower that water, plant it. And in the fall, we'll slowly bring that water back up. We have the ability to pump into it if we want. If not, you know, I'd just say let it kind of fill up naturally and expose more seed as the season goes on. Um, but that's the goal. Hybrid lake, fish in the spring, waterfall hunt in the fall. So kind of the best of both worlds. So we will come back at you shortly, probably two, three weeks, maybe a month with the next step of this. And uh, hopefully it goes well. Thanks for watching.